changing percents to decimals, lesson 11b. Don't forget, there's links in the description to help you, okay? You can just click there and go right to them. So we now know that percent means part of 100. And if we're using a pencil and paper to solve a percentage problem, we'll need to convert the percentage to a fraction or decimal. To change a percent to a decimal, we put a decimal point two hops to the left of the percentage sign and then just remove the sign. It's that easy. So if we have 32%, we just count over two hops from this percentage sign, one, two, we put a decimal place point right there, and we just take off the percentage sign. We have 0 0.32, 32 hundredths. If we have 4.6%, we start from where the decimal point is, we hop over two places to the left, one, two, that leaves an empty space there. We need to put a zero as a placeholder. We end up with 0 0.046. That's 46 thousandths. See, you just drop off the percentage sign then. So from wherever this decimal point is, or the, if there isn't a decimal point, you go from the percentage sign, you do two hops, okay? So in this case, there was a decimal point, and we could go two hops to the left, see? This one, there wasn't one, so we just started from here and went two hops, okay? So let's try a bunch of these. We can change these percentages to decimals. We have 35%. We start from the percentage sign and go one, two hops. We're going to put a decimal point in front of the three and then get rid of the percentage sign, and we have 0 0.35. 71%. We start from here, do two hops. There's going to be a decimal in front of the 7. We get rid of the percentage sign. We have 0 0.71. Now we only have 3%. We start from the percentage sign and go 1, 2 hops. That's going to leave an empty space that we need to add a 0 as a placeholder. And we have 0 0.03. See? 3 hundredths. Now we have 0.2%. So that's not even 1%. It's 0.2%. We start from the decimal place and go one, two hops. That means we have to add two zeros for placeholders. And we drop off the percentage sign and get 0 0.002. See? Just remember the two hops and getting rid of the sign. From here, we would go one, two hops. That puts us in between the one and the two. And we have 1.20 or 1 and 20 hundredths or 1 and 2 tenths. We know we don't need that zero on that right side of the place value for decimals, right? We could add as many zeros or take them away as we want. It's still equivalent to 1.2 or 1 and 2 tenths, okay? So that'd be one whole, right, with 2 tenths. Here we've got 0.38%. That means it's not even 1%. When you see a decimal and a percentage, that means it's not even 1%. So, we start from where the decimal point is and do our two hops, put two zeros for placeholders, and we and drop off the percentage sign, and we get 0 0.0038 for our decimal. This is actually very, very simple. Just remember the two hops and getting rid of the sign. Here we've got a decimal place right here. So we're going to start from that decimal point and go 1, 2, put a 0 for a placeholder, get rid of the percentage sign, and we have 0 0.026. See? 0.026. For this 300%, we start from the percentage sign and we go one, two hops. It puts it in between this three and that zero. That means we have 3.0 or three whole. Now, this is very acceptable to mean the number three. It's the same thing as just saying three. They just have a zero here for the decimal place as a placeholder. Okay? It's equivalent to three. No big deal. For 4,000%, we do the same thing. We start with the percentage sign and go one, two hops. It's going to be in between this first and second zero, so that means we have 40. 4,000% 4, is the same thing as 40. It can be written as a 40.0. It just means there's no decimals. No big deal, okay? And we can change a percent to a decimal on a calculator. If we have 35%, we do 3, 5, divided by sign, 1, 0, 0, 35 divided by 100. That will give us 0.35. That'll give us a decimal from the percentage. If we have 2.6%, we just divide it by 100. We can do 2, then the decimal point, then the 6. Division sign, 1, 0, 0 equals, 
and it'll give us 0 0.026. Me, personally, I think it's easier to just look at it and say 1, 2 hops, 0.35. I think that's easier, but it depends on what you think is easier, okay? Our next video is going to be changing a decimal to a percent. Now, we just did a percent to a decimal. Now we're going to do decimal to percent and go the other way. That's 11C. And I'm going to have links to these videos in this description to help you, all right, from grade 6 and Algebra 1. I hope you have a great day. I hope you're understanding this with no problem. This seems to be a pretty easy concept, so I think you should be able to get this, okay? I'll see you next time. Bye.